Christina. We are going to make a fresh chicken soup today. So I've got my mise en place all ready to go. I have two full carrots, two celery, half of a large white Vidalia onion. I have a handful of chives, a bunch of basil or sage, sorry, and four garlics and a handful of Swiss chard. So I'm gonna add all the ingredients into the pot. I've turned the pot on with the chicken carcasses in there just to get it nice and hot and get them kind of steaming away, getting the juices coming out of it. I'm now going to add all of our ingredients in, our celery and our onions, carrots. I'm making this a really, really chunky soup because we have our 17-month-old son that will be eating it, so the more chunks, the better, rather than more stock. So we're just gonna add everything in there. Garlic, chard, and then I'm going to fill it up with water and let it simmer literally all afternoon. I'm going to fill the pot directly right up and put a lid on it. And when the afternoon comes, it'll be half simmered down. And then I'm going to take the carcasses out, add a little more water. We're going to add our seasoning at the end, like our salt and peppers at the very end to taste to make sure that the stock is good. So we'll add some water in. all the colors. It's now September so it's a perfect time to do a soup like this. I'm going to stick the lid on, turn it to just below medium and let it simmer away. Okay so our soup has done boiling. Our Everything is mixed together beautifully so we're going to take the carcasses out now. And I just have a bag that I'm just going to put them into and put them right into the garbage. Now because they've boiled since 11 this afternoon and it's 4.30 now, they're really tender, so you want to make sure when you grab them, you're grabbing full big chunks. If you wanted the soup to be fat free, you would put it in the fridge and it would turn into a solid fat block on the top and you would be easily able to scrape it off and then your soup would be 100% fat free. Alright, so we have taken all of the carcass out, we've gone through and made sure that there was no chicken bones left in the soup. I'm going to season now. So with this much stock, I'm going to do about three good pinches and then I'm gonna have a taste. I'm gonna give it a little stir, and while stirring, have a look at how beautiful that soup is. You have your chicken pieces that have fallen off the, the bone, your big carrots and celery, just beautiful. So we're gonna give it a good stir, make sure the salt that went to the bottom. And, mm, there's so much flavor in that. I'm gonna add just a little more salt. Now, adding your salt at the end makes it very easy for you to do it for your family. So if your family loves salt, add a little more in. If they don't, you'll be able to keep it out. And it's all fresh flavors. You can taste that sage in there, the garlic. Everything is commingled just beautifully. It's going to make a beautiful dinner to me. All right, scooping dinner for this evening. Look at how fantastic that looks going into the bowl. All those harvest fresh colors. Wonderful. Always remember, it's always easier cooking fresh than it is from a box.